Welcome to Creating Disney Magic with Lee Cockrell. Lessons in leadership, management, and customer service. You can create magic too. I'm your host, Jody Mayberry, and I'm here with Lee Cockrell. Lee, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. We're doing well. Uh, we're ready for winter. So uh, I got four new air conditioners, and they're all running full time. <laughs> so it's amazing. I, my car said 110 the other day when I got in it. Uh, it oh was like goodness. almost 100 in Orlando, which is really amazing. But uh, yeah, it's good. But um, we look forward to the rain every afternoon and uh, we stay in the house. <laughs> That's it. Well, we had a hot streak here, too. Uh, last week, it got up to 80 degrees. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. That's really terrible. I don't. I don't think you really feel for me, but <laughs> it. I. I have several times I proclaimed I was wasn't going to make it. Yeah, exactly. Last episode, Lee, we ran a old episode from 2015. That episode that we recorded at Podcast Movement in Fort Worth. That was kind of fun to hear that. You you remember that was the first time we ever did an event together. We we gave that presentation yeah. together at Podcast Movement and it was that was how we met Bob Berg. He was in the audience at that right. time. Well, actually when you posted that, I went back and looked at the archives and went back to 2008 when it was just a blog and read some of the blogs that I had done for a while until we started doing a podcast, which was fun too. So uh yeah. I worked back to read what I thought I knew then. <laughs> so, yeah, Lee has was, been putting some wise words out there for a long time. Yeah, it, it was great. Well, speaking of older episodes, that takes us to our listener question. And this is a good one because uh, we have somebody who went back and listened to old episodes. Andre McGuire asked about an episode from March of 2016. The wow. episode that we did was called Difference Between Training and Development. So now he would like you to talk a bit about the difference between development and correction. So to set us up, Lee, just a couple sentences on what is the difference between training and development, and then we'll get in deeper into development versus correction. Yeah, I mean... Um... I came to this conclusion uh, quite a while ago, actually, when I was doing a lot of work for the Army and I was working with Lloyd Austin and we were talking about how to get people to be better prepared and uh, to make the right decisions in a crisis and to stay cool and calm and, and to understand what they're good at, what they're not good at, and what we ought to, they need help in. And so I was telling him, I said, you know, training um uh, Training's easy. I was uh, in the army. I, they trained me how to shoot a gun. Okay, they th I got to throw one hand grenade. I, I hope I was trained properly. Uh, I got to do a lot of things through training. Everybody that I was with was learning the same thing at the same time. We were in groups and training. It was uh, not emotional. It was uh, just teaching us how to do something, how to be better at it. And then after you do that, obviously, if you practice, it's kind of like training in golf. You get a lesson the first time, and then you get better and better and better over playing and hopefully continued uh, uh, training. But development, on the other hand, you know, to me is when it's an individual thing. Everybody's different. I can We can train everybody to play golf, but development's about your attitude, about uh, how you treat people, uh, your personality, uh, your reliability. And those are kind of often um, and I would say not often, but always uh, need to be one on one with the person in a uh, place where other people are not listening and hearing. And it's those kind of heart to heart conversations about your behavior, your trustworthiness, your, uh, the way you treat people, the, all those things that uh, uh, we don't need an audience for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I think the difference is training is learning how to do something and uh, development is teaching people how to be better, how to be a better person, how to be more effective uh, in the way they uh, do things. So and uh, it's you. I think the development piece is literally uh, people to people. I mean, everything is with developments about people and your how you do things and your behavior and 
uh, your anger and uh, your defensiveness and uh, all those kinds of things. Where training, you know, you get you don't hit the targets. You guy teaches you how to shoot a little straighter. <laughs> and so yeah. training is a Totally different in my mind. And by the way, when I was working in the Army, you know, they said, you know, we never thought about it that way, that it is that different. And the reason it's worth talking about is development's hard. You got to have the guts to sit down and talk to somebody and tell them some hard news sometimes. Uh, training's easy. I mean, everybody loves do the training. I'm learning something. Everything's great. But when you have to sit down and talk to somebody about their attitude or being late to work or doing something inappropriate, that uh, that's where the leadership, your leadership steps in and you that you did the right thing, that you had the ability to do the right thing, even though it was something you did not look forward to. And uh, that's what parents do every day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. OK, so that that takes us to Andre's next question. Lee just outlined the difference between training and development. Now, Andre wants to know, is there a difference between development and correction he said listening to that episode it seems like you equate correction and development so tough conversations about being on time getting jobs done on time yeah. so he's he's saying i i would think development would be learning skills such as communication self-promotion skills that aren't job specific so that's what andre's asking it what's the difference between development and correction well, I think they're extremely close, except development can be that you're bringing somebody in and tell them how great they are, you know, and to build their self-confidence and uh, tell them how much you appreciate them. And uh, you're developing that by taking some insecurities away from them. Uh, so it, development can, you know, it's like when you develop your children, you don't only do negative, hardcore <laughs> stuff with them. So uh, you know, it is a lot about correction, but it's also all about the total way you uh, you work with people to make them uh, better. And that includes correction, and it includes uh, uh, letting people know when they're doing good things, too. And because uh, the more they hear the good things, the less they'll do the bad things, I think. Uh, they're proud of, you know, we all like to hear uh, positive feedback and and it kind of registers in our brain and maybe the brain decides well i think that worked pretty good i'm going to do that more often i mean you are really helping somebody when you're uh taking that time to uh tell them when they do a good job and those hard times when you have to do them, tell them when they're doing a bad job now i think a lot of leaders miss the opportunity to give positive feedback too as part of the development uh, you know, I mean, don't miss those opportunities. They're golden. They cost you nothing. And you'll probably get a better person, a more secure person, a, a more productive person, less turnover. Because people, when you convince somebody that they matter and they're doing a good job, that's, that's development. And that probably keeps, keeps, I was talking to somebody this morning, we we're talking about, if I believe you care about me, the chances of me leaving go down dramatically. And uh, so that's how, that's how I have to think about it, uh, you know. And I, I think I read something the other day, or maybe it was on the Internet. It said, when somebody does something wrong, don't go rip into them. Just say, why? Why did you hit your brother? <laughs> why did you uh, say that to me? Why did you not eat your dinner? Why did you not do your homework tonight? And find out. And and then then you can make the correction. Uh, but sometimes we jump right into kicking people's butts when there may be a reason that they couldn't do it today or didn't do it or are having a bad day or don't feel well or who knows what it is. But I thought that was a good idea. I, I ne never did that enough either of thinking, you know, especially when I heard that, why did you hit your brother? <laughs> I used to hit my brother all the time. My mother never asked me why. Uh, so, um, and I don't know why now either. Maybe I would have known them, uh, jealousy or <laughs> who knows, boys. But uh, those are things to think about in developing people. Is uh, let's get to let's figure out why you did that, and then maybe we can talk about how you can work your way out of that. Well, Lee has given us some great looks at what is the difference between development and correction. Lee, I think either as a parent or a leader correction is just to 
either to get you to stop doing what you're doing or to start doing what I want you to do. Development is to help you understand why we do what we do, how this benefits you, how this will benefit your career. And correction just is to fix the behavior where development is also to to build you up, to get you ready. And that doesn't, it will include correction with the question why, as Lee said, but it also includes a lot of positive stuff. It, it is, this is what you're doing right. This is the potential we see in you. So I, I think that Lee has given us a, a good line between development and correction. And I think maybe we ought to probably quit thinking about the word correction, <laughs> it sounds like correction facility, <laughs> you know, punishment instead of uh, learning, instead of uh, trying to reach the person so that they're going to have a better life and a better uh, better career. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if you, I don't think I can, I can create a change in your behavior, but we can talk about it. You will change it if you hear the right things about your how important you are and the things you do and how much we appreciate you. You have to change your attitude, not me. I just have to point it out. Well, like Priscilla, she points it out to me all the time. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I have definitely seen this now that my kids are teenagers. It's, it is much easier to get a younger child to do what you want. It is not quite, if you haven't done development, it is very hard to get a teenager to do either what you want or what the right thing is. If you have not done proper development, it's the same way with employees. I think the longer they're there, if you haven't done development, the harder it is to get them to do the right thing. Absolutely. You can, uh, uh, you can't train attitude. <laughs> you got to create it. <laughs> you got to create the right feelings. And it's very emotional. It's very, uh, uh we all need to be part psychologists to try to how to be better at not only us being better, but also how we get people to be better and uh, controlling and attacking and uh, correcting and trying to straighten out people. <laughs> you don't straighten out people. They straighten out themselves when they get into the right environment, the right culture, and they they feel like somebody cares about them. They'll change that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, last episode, we announced the opening of the Cockerel store. That That's yeah. something Lee and I have been working on for a long time. It's great to have it out there. It's got all the courses, all the books, all the resources that don't cost anything are there. Workshops, everything Lee and I are doing are there in the Cockerel store. So, Lee, finally, we've got everything in one place. Yeah, and that's the that's the the link, isn't it? Cockerelstore.com. Cockerelstore.com. It also is one big shift in the way we've done things. Until now, if you wanted a course, you would have to enroll in the Cockerel Academy to get the course. For example, the most popular course we've done so far is Time Management Magic. The only way to get that would be to enroll in the Cockerel Academy. Now you can just go get time management magic as a standalone course or any of the other courses, better decisions, morning magic planner. They're all there on cockerel store and it, you can find it cockerelstore.com. You also find it on leecockerel.com or cockerel Academy. We've linked it all there. So if there's a course you've been wanting to do, you just want to check out the resources that are there, go to cockerelstore.com. And if you want to take a, great vacation. We don't offer vacations at the cockerel store, but magical vacation planner, they can help you with that. You can reach them at 407-442-2694. And before we go, we had a great question from Andre. So if you have a question that you would like Lee to talk about or a topic you think we should discuss, then send it our way. You can reach me at jodymayberry.com. Lee is at Lee Cockrell. Dot com. Until next week, go out and create magic for others.